This is a Snapdragon 810, a system on a chip released in 2014 by Qualcomm. It would be found in several phones from many manufacturers big and small, from Sony to Huawei to OnePlus, but what makes this SoC so special is a long list of problems that made not only the chip itself suffer, but many other parts of the devices it was installed in. Hey guys, my name's Ryan Thomas and this is the infamous Snapdragon 810. Putting this chip alongside its predecessor and successor, it stands out as the only 8-core flagship at the time, offering 4 lower power and 4 higher power cores, coupled with the Adreno 430 GPU. It was also built on the 20 nanometer manufacturing process versus 28 on the Snapdragon 800 and 14 on the Snapdragon 820. It was when users started pushing their devices to the limits, by playing games, running consecutive benchmarks, and almost using their phone as a mini PC, that they soon felt like something was up. Literally, felt. Devices such as my personal Xperia Z5 Compact and the Nexus 6P would heat up so substantially that it was almost uncomfortable. The most obvious illustration of this was when running synthetic benchmarks consecutively and recording their scores as they go on. The scores would just drop and that meant one thing, thermal throttling. You might have heard this phrase in the laptop and desktop sector a decent amount and essentially what it means is the chip, in this case the CPU portion of the system on chip, gets to its thermal limits and has to turn down the frequency resulting in lower temperatures, but also, naturally, lower performance. Now you might not notice this in everyday applications, and even gaming, since the GPU is rarely majorly affected by this, but that's not to say that this isn't an issue and that you can just gloss over it. We often worry about battery life and having to top up throughout the day to make it to the night, but the 810 often took this to new extremes. Since the chip is so close to the battery, when the chip heats up, often so does the battery, resulting in not only reduced battery performance, but also increased degradation speed, and in some cases, expansion. Several reports of this battery expansion surfaced in early 2016, especially found in Nexus 6P, which had a whole host of other problems loosely related to that battery. This battery expansion can result in a puffed out chassis, screen, and can even be dangerous if pierced by the metal inside the phone. Not fun. Not all 810s behave so badly, and some chips were actually pretty stable, but in most of these cases, if the chips are still around today, they would have run very, very hot and almost certainly have ruined the original batteries of the devices they are in. I hope we never see an issue like this again from any company as it takes an otherwise brilliant device and leaves it feeling very sorry for itself. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the infamous Snapdragon 810 in the comments below, but apart from that, it's about it from me. Thank you all so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this one, it was kind of fun to make. Also please do like, dislike, comment and subscribe if you're new around here to never miss a video like this one, and check out all social media's links will be in the video description as always. I want to give a massive shout out to my patrons, you guys are super awesome, so thank you for your continuous support. My name's been Ryan Thomas, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.